woke up on a Saturday morning, hoping that you had called me. Realized it was the afternoon, I'm still sleeping off the party. Know the drill y'all know the drill always a cup of coffee in the morning delicious bear bites everybody from Kodiak Kodiak makes one of the best products and to pair it with the cliff bar even better one of the best things to carve up with is these bear bites. They're like healthy animal crackers. You can't go wrong with it. It's been a while everybody. It has been a while since I have picked up the GoPro and filmed a video. It's been probably a week. I just had some videos uploaded and I took a week off from filming so I can focus on filming those videos. But it has been a while but we're back to it. We're back to normal and we're back to reality. Waking up at that crack of dawn, 545, feeling tired. Beginning the day going, being productive, getting work done, going to work doing schoolwork, editing the vlog for y'all, and getting the, getting the running complete done. So right now, while we get this pre-run feeling, Sage Candy, VO2 Max Production. I don't know if y'all know him, but he came out with one of the best training talk videos, and it's getting your half marathon pace to become your marathon pace which my half marathon pace is sub 90 at 127.45 so that could get me like a 256 marathon roughly around definitely sub three but it just takes a lot of hard work you gotta have proper and structured training for it but we'll get into that video another day another topic because i gotta say nutrition is very very key for your marathon training your speed workouts races just everything but everything will work different for everybody i literally wake up in the morning and have the same thing every single day my cliff bar coffee now sometimes kodiak bear bites and on my long run dates it's a little bit different it's a banana at it and other stuff but and of course caffeine coffee yes i do decaf coffee every single day because with these coffee cliff bars, I already get one shot of espresso, around like 63 milligrams of caffeine. It's basically a cup of coffee, so that's why I do decaf, but for my long run days, I get double the caffeine, because I do a coffee cliff bar and a cup of coffee. I just can't do two cups of coffee. That would just mess up my GI tract, especially for running. You just gotta find what works for you. Not bad. This is the first time I'm cutting an apple. I don't want the apple. Well, it's for the best. I hope. They think I'm a medical mystery, so. Also, everybody, hydration is key. I drink one to two bottles of water before my runs. It, it is just something that I have to do because it's. I am very good at getting hydration in. Actually, I tracked it yesterday and got around 15 bottles of water. As y'all see, look at that tan line. So random, but I was just looking at it in the camera. I'm like, oh wow, big tan line. But I had first time tracking my water, I tracked what time, roughly around what time I drank it at. And I drank around 15 bottles of water. It's pretty crazy. I don't, I don't know. This is like 12 ounces. I don't even know, 20 ounces. Who knows? Who knows? But just make sure to get in your water and hydration. 
and also your electrolytes. Everybody, I really think Seth James Moore just listened to my comment. Yesterday I commented, is doing a tune-up race of half mar of a half marathon two weeks before marathon a good idea or should it be three weeks or more? Because it seems like the body could need more recovery. Because he's running 9 to 10 minute per mile paces as a 5-15 minute per mile pace marathoner uh, around sub 220. Which is just crazy, which is taking learning, take your easy days easy, hard days hard. But I think he saw my comment and said it because in his new video, he talks about how his tune-up race could be way too soon. And he did three weeks before, and you might be able need you might need to do it four, five, six plus weeks. So we will see about tune-up races later on. Again, another video. For now, it's going to be the nutrition based talks, but I'll see y'all later. We got to we got to finish up this work, go for a run, cause it's already 7 a.m. I don't know, time is just flying by. It just it goes by way too fast. I don't even know where my life goes. Really, I don't know. Before you know it, I'll be crossing the finish line. Priorities, everybody. Priorities. Done and dusted. Now it is time to just head off to work and relax before the long run day. And we got 10 miles down and complete. Probably need to be eating a little bit more. Um, probably ate a little bit too less last night. But sometimes that happens in marathon training. Sometimes you cannot eat all the calories that you burn while running because in marathon training you're running a lot of miles i mean i'm already at 70 plus miles for a week in five days it, it's it's a lot you have a lot of training also you're not just running you're you're focusing on your recovery your strength training because i do strength training twice a week i cross train i core so yeah it's a lot of training and sometimes can't get in the calories that you kind of need to can feel a little weak sometimes like today felt a little bit weak so i'll probably focus on some more calorie consumption especially since we have a long run tomorrow because don't really want to feel weak that is one of the worst things ever so sometimes it happens just you gotta know when to take in some extra calories for sure but time to go put up the shoes right down the miles the same old same old Go get some breakfast before work. You already know what it is. It's protein waffles. One of the best things ever. You get the protein, you get the carbs, you get the energy, you get the fuel. You get this amazing feeling. Hopefully, cookbook will come out soon for it. But let's go put up these shoes soon for it. But let's go put up these shoes. Can't forget to pack the snacks, everybody. Gotta get the snacks. Very key. Very, very key.
everybody gonna eat this up head off to work and i'll see y'all when i get back and we'll dive in about some nutrition we'll talk about it later but for now go ahead and enjoy these delicious delicious waffles wait just one second And then to add flavor Greek yogurt, right? It just makes everything so much better. Got blueberry today, top it with some granola, and the waffles, chocolate chip blueberry waffles. That's breakfast, everybody. That is breakfast. And like I said, see y'all when I get back. Oh, no, night. Oh, no, night. Yes. Oh, indeed. Indeed, indeed. Oh, no, night. Ah. Do you want some oat now? No, I got some raw oat now. What a day, everybody. It has been solid day of eating, solid day of recovery, solid day at work, a little boring at work, and that's probably why I came home to literally eat so much food when I got home. But it's okay. That is probably not really the reason I got home. Because like I talked about earlier, I was a little weak in my run today. I've probably been in deficit. I mean, I'm running. I'm already at 70 miles for a week. It's only been five days a week. It's really hard to catch up on calories then. So with eating nutrition that will help you recover like fruits and vegetables, which is lower in calories than your cookies and your cakes, which you really don't want to eat. It doesn't help me feel good. It doesn't make me recover good. So yeah, unless, unless, yeah, unless it does make you feel good. Some people can handle it. I personally cannot. It makes me blow, it makes me feel sick, and I just not hungry the next morning, and it honestly makes it very worse. But like I said, I came home very hungry. My body probably catched up and is like, you need to eat, you need to repair and replenish some glycogen stores. So I had some pancakes, popcorn, Cheerios, and of course, now it's dinner time. Around 6.30, it's oatmeal night because we treat Fridays the day before the long run a little bit different. Kind of practice in some nutrition of what I would eat the night before a race. I don't know. I just have always been doing that. It's just something I do. So we're going to make this oatmeal. And I'll talk about some other stuff later or when the oatmeal is in the microwave. So we're going we're gonna to heat it up. Can't really heat it up right now because he's melting his salmon or not melting defrosting his salmon i don't know i don't know but delicious bananas mm. okay so while the oatmeal is in the microwave and thickening up and whatnot we're gonna go back to the nutrition topic or talk or whatever you want to call it so first things first everybody's different and you have to find a diet that works for you some people can eat cookies and brownies and whatnot after the run i personally cannot and some people will go with their smoothies their pros i have to go with a solid meal i i can't eat drink a smoothie like that just doesn't go well for me what i'm trying to say is everybody is different you have to find what works for you if you can't eat cookies well don't eat cookies if you can't drink normal water don't drink normal water i don't drink normal water i drink these crushed things i don't know they're just a, a drink mix there's just many things that i do that other people couldn't do you just have to find what really works for you and it takes time i remember i would have a lot of gi issues um early this year and also last year where i would just have so much stomach discomfort on my run but i ended up finding something out the clip bars before my run the p post run pancakes that later now became waffles and just what i eat i eat protein based high quality type of foods for dinners vegetables and high quality proteins and micronutrients every single night i don't have normal snacks i guess you can say that other runners would have i have the only snack i really choose to eat is popcorn which i started eating some pretzels here and there sometimes and sometimes yes it will be candy you can eat candy as a runner because we take in gels when we're running that is literally straight up sugar so eat your candy if you want your candy. I eat candy, especially M&M's. If there's M&M's or anything laying around in the house, 
I will have at least one or two and sometimes with chips and other type of food one thing I will stay away from is red meat it makes me very sluggish the next day bloated I just don't want to do anything it makes me like unmotivated so you have to find what really works for you and you want to kind of eat regularly I when I don't eat regularly I end up binging or eating so much more later in the day and I feel a little like crap. I can't fall asleep, can't have a normal night of sleep. So eat, eat regularly. I'm typically snacking at least, or eating something at least every three hours. And that typically deals with my first meal being my pre-run snack. If you're running in the morning, eat, eat something. Even if it is something small, I would suggest really eating something because you're in an overnight fast, which as a runner, you really don't want to be in a fast. like. Your glycogen is already going downhill and it will affect your training, especially while marathon training or if you have a speed workout or especially, especially a race. So don't want to fast, you want to eat regularly. And that's one thing I will say, everybody wants to be on the same basis with that. And you want to focus those snacks mostly on carbs, but also have solid protein because your muscles need to repair and rebuild from the work you had in the earlier in the day, from the strength training you could have done, the cross training, and most of all, the run running. Running literally tear down your muscles so much because you're literally putting three to five times your body weight every single step. So it, it does a lot of damage to the body. So you kind of need to recover and eat more protein than you need to or a regular person. I'm probably eating about 1.5 times my body weight per day, roughly around. So I eat a good bit of protein. It helps me feel good, recover better. But again, everybody is different. Another thing is you don't have to just eat whole foods. You can eat unhealthy foods, or if you want to get in good vitamins and micronutrients, take in your vitamins. I take multivitamins, calcium vitamins, vitamin C, all these other sorts of vitamins. I'll get into that in another video if I remember. So we'll save that for another video. But yes, I take in vitamins and this might sound crazy, but I'm taking four multivitamins a day. It says that to take two, but I just found it makes me feel better. So in the long run, you have to find what works for you and everybody's different, everybody body works are different. I'm not eating the same thing as my brother and he is my twin. We're literally born at pretty much the exact same time and I do not have the same diet as him. I'm eating different things than him sometimes and I'm eating at different times. So you just have to find what works for you. And if you want another video on this, comment down below, but I will see you on the next one. Stay humble, work hard, and be kind. It's time for me to go get my oatmeal and peace. Mm -hmm.